Hey guys, it's Tom here with Meet You There Solar. We just finished up an install here on this 20BD. We're in Sun River, Oregon today. Beautiful 75 degree weather here in town. A nice and local install for us. This is awesome rig, the 20BD. It has no slide outs. Has the onboard generator, which is awesome. Some big tanks and a nice little compact and a really good layout. We'll show you what we did with the solar. So in terms of the things that this customer wanted to run, they have a dog that they like they usually take the dog with them everywhere they go but just in case they pull over they want to have lunch it's really hot in the trailer they're going to be able to run the air conditioner while they have lunch and without turning the generator on they also have CPAP machines that they want to run overnight so the solar setup and the inverter setup will help them with that and of course you know running the microwave every so often coffee in the morning all those little nice luxuries that they'll have with this trailer which usually they would have to run the generator to do now they can just run run from the lithium batteries in the sun so the 20BD, with that generator and the sliding tray, it's got a pretty small bed design compared to a lot of the other outdoors RVs. But perfect little layout here for a good little system for this trailer. So three 100 amp hour battle borns. With the generator and with solar on the roof, it's a pretty good system for this size trailer. We've got the, all the fusing, blue sea stuff, the Lynx distributor, and then we put the multiplus here in this other side. We lost the drawers, but still getting the storage above the drawers. Everything's in here, nice and short cable lengths. And customer's got the 3600 watt generator as well. So what this means is now with the MultiPlus being such a big generator, I mean, and being such a big generator, but MultiPlus being such a good charger, uh, cloudy days, things like that, they run the generator for a couple hours, run the air conditioner while they're running the generator and also bringing their batteries up. You know, two or three hours, they'll, they'll bring this bank from zero to full factory Zamp solar right now, which is a good system. One of the things that this customer was big on was just making sure that this system could be upgraded in the future. So we may be coming back in a year's time, say we're gonna put probably more solar on the roof, try to squeeze, I'm hoping we can squeeze about 1300 watts on the roof on top of the 510 that's already there now. So that'll be a huge improvement. Sorry, not on top of, just replacing the 510 that's there with close to 1,000, 1,300 watts of solar, hopefully. Victron MPPT, at that point, they're gonna to go to the Touch 50, and they're also gonna see if we can squeeze some game changes into this build just to get a little more amp hours. But with that much solar and this size trailer, I think the 300 amp hours are gonna serve them pretty well. So we put a soft start in the air conditioner for the customer just so they can use that inverter to run their air conditioner. They can also use it now more easily on a 15 amp plug at home. Also easier on the generator, it's not going to have that big inrush current and it's not going to spike the generator too much. So they got the soft start installed. We didn't do the solar, this is the factory 510 Zamp panels for these outdoors RVs. Customer wanted to go more solar. If you look on the roof, we're kind of limited by a lot of the fixtures in terms of where we could fit more panels. We are working on a rack system right now, so we are going to have the customer is happy to give out the skylights. So you can just look around that skylight there. We could fit a panel there. We could fit an extra panel up there. With the rack system, we can fit some more. We can actually use wider panels as well. So hopefully we can boost this from 510 to about, I'm gonna say 1200 at least, once we get this rack system up here for the customer. So it's a small, the 20 BD, it's a small, short, short trailer, no slides, compact trailer, lots of roof fixtures. Luckily, with our rack system, we'll be able to get over those and put as much solar on, on this smaller footprint as trailer as possible. We're Meet You There Solar. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, let us know if we can help you with any of your solar needs.